Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you what I do for my hair care routine. I try to wash my hair every two days. Sometimes I'll try to extend it to three days if I'm not doing anything or if, you know, things work out where I can extend it with dry shampoo for that long just to keep the natural oils and just it's healthier for your hair to not wash it every single day because you're stripping all of the natural oils from your scalp and all of that. So that's a general rule um, and the shampoos that I use when I do wash are the Garnier Fructis Fortifying Shampoo. The Pure Clean line is the product that I use from the Garnier. Um, it's 94% biodegradable, no silicones, no parabens, no dyes. This just gets it really clean and it just feels more voluminous if I use this. This is what I use to eliminate the brassy warm tones in my hair. I do have a lot of warm tones, but um, I don't think it's too bad. But this is Shiny Silver Ultra Conditioning Shampoo. These purple shampoos really dry your hair out. I noticed over the years of doing blonde and having highlights and all that, they just make your hair feel like crap. So I don't use that one every single time, or I'll use a little and mix it in just for the pigment. And for conditioner, I use the Garnier Fructis pure clean conditioner. This is great. No silicones, no build up on your hair. Uh, a lot of shampoos if, and conditioners, mostly conditioners, if you look at the ingredients, they have silicone in them. And that makes your hair have that very silky feeling. Like once you put it in your hair, it feels like silk. And it's a great, great feeling, but it eventually over time creates this like dependency where you your hair feels like crap unless you are putting more of that on your hair. It's not good for the environment, it's not good for your hair. It creates a buildup layer and gets it all grungy. And this is dripping all over me because it was in my shower. But yeah, this cheap from the drugstore, Target, whatever, like $3. And it works really well on my hair. Sometimes I also use the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner. This stuff makes your hair really soft. And there's hardly anything other than like herbal things in it. It's freaking awesome. I did not expect it to make my hair so soft. Um, it doesn't seem to leave any kind of residue or anything like that. So I love it. Yeah. Um, and then sometimes if I want to do a mask, um, maybe after a photo shoot where a lot of heat has been put on my hair or... I don't know, when my hair just needs a little pick-me-up, I use the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask. I get this from Target. It's usually always there. There's hair on it. That's disgusting. Okay. All right. But yeah, this has sea kelp and argan oil. Great for dry, damaged hair. I've been using that for years, and it works really well. Um, so I haven't used hair oils or any oil at all in my hair for fear of my skin breaking out because a lot of things I put on my hair would cause my skin to break out. But recently I found out that argan oil has a zero, will not clog your pores on the comedogenic chart. So I got this Shea Moisture 100% argan oil. You can use it on your skin, your hair. I just use a little bit in my palm, warm it up, put it on my ends, throughout my hair, and it's a good heat protectant and it adds a little shine and moisture back to my hair. Love that product and more heat protectant, just like a leave-in detangler kind of spray that I do every time my hair is wet after I shower, <clears throat> is the Juice Organics Healthy Beauty. It's like a color protecting leave-in treatment spray. It has sunflower oil and fig in it. It protects against color. If you have color treated hair, it helps the color. Um, yeah, this smells really good because it has like a light grapefruity smell which I love. And the last thing I'm just gonna show you right now is my hairspray that I use. This is the Tresemme Climate Protection Hairspray. This is pretty heavy duty. I can't just like spray it on my hair because my hair will be like crunchy. So I do a light spray on a little teasing brush or whatever brush I happen to be using and you know, tame down the baby hairs around my face or put a little on my hand and run it through pieces to keep the style. I'm very easy with this, but it's good because it, it controls it in humidity and it's against the UV rays too. 
And um, that was the last product, but there's one more thing. I just bought uh, satin pillowcases. I have a set of two. And I've been sleeping on satin pillowcases because this helps reduce hair breakage and helps keep your hairstyle and keeps, keeps your hair and apparently skin more moisturized, less, I don't know. It just is supposed to be a thing. I, did, I do notice a small difference and it's just a lot nicer to sleep on. So that's what I've been doing, reduces frizz. It helps, it helps my hair, I will see. I just started using it a couple days ago, so that is what I do for my hair, kind of just to care for it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe to this channel for more videos, it really helps, and I'll see you in my next one. Also, if you have any video requests at all, feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know what you want to see. Maybe I'll do how I do my hair, I get a couple questions about that, I don't know, we'll see. I'll talk to you guys later, bye.